Let's talk about Cobalt Strike and Curator Detection. So Cobalt Strike is a tool that has been used by red team guys to do pen testing type of exercises and to find things that are how the bad guys can actually enter into your organization so you can actually fix vulnerabilities or you know whatever is it that you need to do to configure your network to prevent those attacks. In reality, this tool is very similar to things that you have seen, seen me doing using before, like Metasploit, right? Metapreter, you know, stuff. In fact, it's also installed under Kali, but I'm sure it, it is better, more modern, and because it costs a lot of money, so I'm sure that is better than just the, but the, the Metasploit. But it's the same thing. It's to use tools to attack system. But now, what happened when you when either Kali or any one of these tools attacks or succeed in those attacks. So in the Windows kernel, things that will be detected are, for example, get system. That is a privilege escalation. And in fact, I have read that the, the, the Cobalt Strike way of doing Previous escalation is similar to the one that you have seen me doing in Kali with Get System. Uh, also, for doing credential dumping, they use Mimikatz. They, of course, mess around with the registry to either add users or change, you know. Uh, of course, PSXEC to move laterally is a great tool to use. PowerShell and abusing PowerShell, particularly by using encoding is a common thing. Deleting shadow copies that you may have for, you know, to go back in case that you have, you know, typically shadow copies are created and automatically created when you apply a new fix into Windows is the fix goes bad or you, for any reason you need to revert value your users out of copy. And like that, there are very many other things. Well, in reality, whether you do this with Cobalt Strike or MetaExploit or any other means, when you get to the kernel and do those things, how can you get your curator system to detect that? And by the way, I read, I don't know if it's true, that an open source version of the this Cobalt Strike tool has been put in GitHub and there's very strong evidence in, of the that uh, the tool fell in the hands of the bad guys so now they're, they're using this tool to attack uh, systems. So, well, there are multiple things that you can do. One is, of course, on the EDR side and we're talking about tools like CrowdStrike, Carbon Copy, Carbon black rather than rather than carbon copy. Sorry, uh, Windows Defender. All these are examples of EDR technology that can send logs into Curator, right? And particularly, some of these tools are better than others in detecting what is called the beacon for uh, remote access or C2 type of communication. Okay. And that, that's always been the case, and they do they, they install an agent on, on this Windows machine and they detect what's happening inside the machine and they can you know warn it into their console of the EDR and also send messages to curator. That might not be all you want to do or the only option to go. And you have seen me showing a lot of videos that prove the advantage of having the Windows security logs being sent to Curator. And you use for that the, either the free WinCollect, we got a new release, I, I plan on doing a video on, on the new version, it's actually quite enhanced, or you can use commercial tools for sending logs to Curator, like Snare, uh, Stealthbit, and there are others, right? But these are the main ones that I see out there. But when you get the logs in Curator, it is very important to add something like Sysmon, and there are dedicated videos and playlists for it, and or a package, a remarkable package, more on this, is on, uh, 
it's going to be the end of this video uh, the EDR content pack is a spectacular new thing that has been added and you'll see that uh, I even have a, an example in here that has a specific rule for detecting cobalt strike type of attacks but I want you to leave you with the idea that maybe you may want to use them both if you have windows sensitive boxes like you know executive accounts or, or servers etc uh, might not be a bad idea to go with belts and suspenders and have both type of technologies and um, there are all the things like ja 3 hashes in fact the, this uh, this particular package works on that and let me show you an example but the point be before i even show you uh, the, the the rules and the tools that are in that EDR package i'm not going to talk about Sysmo because there are plenty of videos on that is that all these things are going to be wh whether those things happen because of carbon cobalt strike or any other type of you know method of attack when they get to the kernel if you get the windows logs you are going to be able to detect those things if you search in the IBM forums for Gladys Koskas, uh, you're going to find she is the team leader behind the enhancement of the of that endpoint content pack for detecting not just cobalt strike but other uh, type of attacks uh, as well. In case that you have not seen, I did a video on this one before, but uh, this package is really remarkable. This is the one that Gladys uh, Gladys team recently uh, updated, and as you can see. Not only you know, cobalt strike, but things like this. So you know, key be. I mean, this is something that uh, you want to have. And notice that many of these things are, are. There's an overlap between some of these things and what you may find into uh, Sysmon. I think that is a nice uh, uh, overlap to have. But this one is actually simpler to install because it doesn't require to have the Sysmon agent on. So on the Windows logs, you are going to get this. But again, separate playlists and videos on on Sysmon as well. I, if I do, I go into my use case manager tool and I search for any rule that has the word cobalt, I actually find this one. And just to show how I show you that you get this from that package, because I mentioned this because this change in this new version of use case manager, if you look in here for extension or XDE your stat then you can actually can add that and let's say that I don't want the creation date but the modification date to make it all look into one page and you can actually see that that rule came from that particular package let's take a look at the rule one thing I don't like to do is to show you know, open the hood of the car and show you how the engine works. But uh, I'm going to make an exception. And I'm going to show you some pieces in here. Notice that this rule works with four remarkable building blocks in Curator. Let's go into my system here. And I have an offense. I replace some flows that uh, generated that offense to actually, that rule to actually uh, trigger an offense. In fact, we can actually display the rule and we'll see it here. So we're going to look at these, some of these building blocks for you to appreciate the what this rule is actually doing. So I go here on the rules, select building blocks, and I'm going to look here for cobalt. Notice, for example, on this one, that they detected that when an address ends with that particular string, it's a way of really identifying cobalt strike. Here is a port that is commonly used by cobalt strike. If you have the advantage of having, you've seen me when I talk about Q and I about JA3 hashes. Well, here's a hash of actually something that indicates that this is definitely for the handshake on the SSL negotiation when uh, cobalt strike start that's a hash that allows you to identify it 
in this building block you can actually see all the things that are actually detected in here so a very powerful rule for sure and I hope this encourages you to not only bring Windows security logs and if you are concerned with EPSs uh, well maybe you might be you may want to explore the, the alternative of using the licensing on CP4S which is on limited EPSs you pay for servers not for EPSs uh, so you bring those uh, Windows logs in and of course consider using for sure this content pack that we've been talking on this uh, video but also if you want to even bring Sysmon as well in order to make sure that when the bad guys get into these Windows kernels which seems to be <laughs> quite often you detected them rapidly <laughs>